Do healthy individuals really need supplements and vitamins? Large-scale randomized trials in the past two decades have shown that for the majority of the population vitamins are not effective for preventing cancer. Moreover, several of them may increase risk of some cancers. For example, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, and beta-carotene contain antioxidants once thought to help prevent cancer. However, more recent studies show that high levels of these may increase cases of gastrointestinal cancers, such as stomach, colon, and esophageal, in some populations. However, eating foods that contain these vitamins reduces the risk of many kinds of cancer. Another big trail. 161,808 participants from the Women's Health Initiative. After a median follow-up of 8.0 and 7.9 years, WHI cohorts provide evidence that multivitamin use has little or no influence on the risk of common cancers, cardiovascular disease or total mortality in postmenopausal women. From 2020 view, we can say in healthy population, intake multivitamins is not effective for preventing cancer or any chronic disease, it may have some harmful effects. But these harmful effects are not also big and prominent. Exception is of recommending a folic acid containing supplement to women of childbearing potential and advising avoidance of high dose beta carotene by smokers. Current data are insufficient to formulate public health recommendations for dietary supplement use for otherwise healthy people. Another important trail is about the long term use of beta carotene, retinol, lycopene, and lutein supplements and lung cancer risk. High dose beta carotene supplementation in high risk persons has been linked to increased lung cancer risk in clinical trials whether effects are similar in the general population is unclear. The authors examined associations of supplemental beta-carotene, retinol, vitamin A lutein, and lycopene with lung cancer risk among participants, aged 50 to 76 years. Health scientists were caught by surprise. The results of this large-scale 2 times 2 factorial design trial, which randomized over 29,000 middle-aged Finnish smoker men to receive alpha-tocopherol, a form of vitamin E, beta-carotene, a precursor of vitamin A both, or neither, showed that beta-carotene statistically significantly increased lung cancer incidence by 18% and total mortality by 8%, mainly due to increased deaths from lung cancer and ischemic cardiac disease. Selenium and Vitamin E The most recent notable research was the Selenium and Vitamin E Cancer Prevention Trial, SELECT trial, the extended results of which showed that vitamin E supplements could increase the risk of prostate cancer among healthy men. Vitamin C Linus Pauling a two-time Nobel laureate and a towering figure in chemistry, believed that vitamin C could prevent cancer and increase the life expectancy of cancer patients. Pauling and Cameron supplemented 100 terminal cancer patients with vitamin C and compared them with 1,000 similar patients who did not receive such supplementation and concluded that the lives of those receiving vitamin C were prolonged by one year. However, this study was not randomized, and two subsequent double-blind randomized trials sponsored by the National Cancer Institute and conducted in the Mayo Clinic, did not find any benefit from oral supplementation with vitamin C. World Cancer Research Fund and the American Institute for Cancer Research has recommended against the use of dietary supplements by the public, for cancer prevention.